I right, y'all, right here is Five Points Pizza. That intersection right there is basically called Five Points. It's probably pretty obvious, but several streets sort of meet right there, creating not just a four-way intersection, but a five-way intersection. And right around here, it is, there's just so much going on. This is Drifters, this is Boston Commons, uh, Woodland Studios, there's like Woodlands, like wine crafters or something like that. And then over here you got Sheps, Delicatessen, Nobles, Hunters. You got Slow Hand Coffee Companies, The Treehouse, Hugh Babies. You got so many different spots. That's what this spot is all about, East Nashville. So many things, so many spots to look at, so many places to go hang out. I think of it a little bit as like the Brooklyn of Nashville. All right, people from Brooklyn, don't at me. I know it's not actually like Brooklyn that much, but kind of, as far as relative to Nashville. All right, let's get into it. How's it going y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch and I am with the hardest working real estate team in all of Tennessee. We are called Welcome to Tennessee, but this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home, a place to land here in Nashville in greater Tennessee. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating from a different city, state, country, planet, relocations, first time home buyers. That is what we do and that's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those two things appeal to you do us both a favor subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified give the video a thumbs up and say anything you want at all in the comments you can literally say those words verbatim and if you're thinking about moving here to nashville do whatever you can to reach out get a hold of us and we will crush it for you basically two ways of getting in touch go to our website welcome to tennessee.co there's a contact form on there fill it out send it out or just shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to tennessee.co they lead to the same spot but however you want to do it and then we will get back in touch with you and we will uh, absolutely take the best care of you and get you exactly the spot that you're trying to be here in Nashville. Today's video is a virtual tour of one of the best, one of the most up and coming, one of the, I don't know, hippest, I guess, spots in all of Nashville, East Nashville. It's big, it's a beast. There's so much stuff to look at, a target rich environment. You are gonna enjoy it, I hope. Yeah, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. Stick around, find out. Right now, I'm at Shelby Park. This is an absolutely beautiful park. One of my favorite parks in all of Nashville. 361 acres, it is massive. Obviously, beautiful lake. I love a good lake. You can probably hardly see it, but right back here, there's a like an elevated bridge, beautiful. And yeah, it's just peaceful. There's a golf course here. Uh, there's everything, softball, uh, baseball fields, soccer. It, yeah, I don't know, I could go on. It's a big park with all things park that you might assume, including extra things <laughs> like a golf course. But as far as East Nashville is concerned, this is like a cool sort of, I don't know, this feels like a spin-off of the rest of East Nashville. When I think of East Nashville as a whole, to me it's a, it's just like, 
hipster, <laughs> trendy uh, restaurants and shops and you know murals and art and it just feels like the center of the world as far as like the art scene in Nashville is concerned. And this happens all over the country, you know, a neighborhood. So in the last 10 years or so, East Nashville has really gotten to be a, a little more special, a little more on the map than it was before. And a big part of that is artists came here, you know, from other neighborhoods because it was more affordable. Artists typically, not the most wealthy people. And, you know, they started to do their thing. <laughs> Artists have a way of impacting neighborhoods and just making them, you know, more and more desirable. Artists move in, they start putting in cool restaurants and shops and, you know, painting murals and turning buildings around. And then more and more people start to see it and say, oh, that looks nice right there. And it does. And I would say East Nashville is still very much in the middle of that process. Maybe a little closer to, you know, the second half of, of that sort of progress, but there still is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of areas that, you know, are just waiting to be sort of become the path of progress within East Nashville. You know, certain intersections, where there's commercial that just hasn't quite, maybe it's a little too dingy and not enough people are, you know, have decided to renovate that spot or, or whatever. But uh, it's just a matter of time, I think, before almost all of it is that. So I see East Nashville as a great opportunity, especially for people who want to open a business, people who want to find a cheaper home, renovate it, and you know, get some equity out of the deal and get to live in a very cool neighborhood while they're at it. East Nashville is interesting in that you will find uh, like neighborhoods where like one house or two houses are brand new, massive, you know, 4,000 square foot modern homes, really, really nicely made. And then right next to it will be, you know, a little rambler or a little story and a half that's just, you know, falling apart. Um, so it, that is a fascinating thing to see within East Nashville. It's fairly unique to East Nashville, a, like a very expensive new build right next to, you know, a home that isn't that well taken care of. Pretty much all of the neighborhoods individually are too small to call for their own virtual tour. They'd be so short and it'd just be like, there wouldn't be enough to talk about, right? So I'm kind of lumping it all in together, although so do people here. People talk about East Nashville in its entirety and then there are obviously, everybody knows that there are sort of smaller neighborhoods within that, five points, you know, all that. Geographically speaking, East Nashville, probably pretty obvious, to the east of downtown, but it's actually a little to the northeast of downtown. The borders are to the north are Briley Parkway. To the east and the south is the Cumberland River. And then to the west is I-24. Depending on where you are in East Nashville, you're either, you could be right by downtown or you could be 10, 15 minutes to downtown if you're kind of in the northern, eastern tip. And then you're maybe 15 minutes or so to the Nashville airport. And yeah, it's all, it's all super convenient here. I think like that convenience, that sort of, uh, yeah, proximity to downtown that uber ability is you know lends itself to the sort of artist community being here and you know turning it around like they have as far as schools are concerned by the way how pretty is this right god i just keep like as i'm filming i'm like that's ah, so nice so peaceful although there is a faint echo of construction in the background but that very much is nashville in a nutshell. You're gonna get served by the Nashville Metro Public Schools, which, you know, as a whole, the grade isn't that good, but it, that covers a huge section of pretty much all of Nashville. That gets a C plus, but don't, that doesn't really sum up the schools here. I would say the schools in East Nashville are a little bit better than that, but on average, not necessarily uh, way better than that. Although there are certain schools that if schools are concerned to you, if you wanna live in this sort of art neighborhood, 
and you want good schools, then listen up. Here are basically the best schools in East Nashville, according to niche.com. Lachlan Elementary School Design Center gets an A minus. For middle school, Meigs Academic Magnet gets an A minus. And for high schools, KIPP, K-I-P-P, Nashville Collegiate High School gets a B. So the highest rated high school in this East Nashville neighborhood uh, only gets a B. So again, if you're looking for top five, top 10 schools, then eh, maybe this is not the spot for you. And then as far as houses are concerned, it is a huge range of housing costs here. Again, there's so, so, so many neighborhoods, but the median sale price is right around 500K, which is a little higher than the average or the, I guess, I'm sorry, the median of Nashville overall. But as far as single family homes are concerned, the cheapest one on the market right now is 240K. I'm not saying it's great. I'm not saying it's move-in ready, but there is one available. Uh, and then you can also spend upwards up to maybe 1.5 million on a single family home here. I will say there are not a ton of those here so don't think you know don't let it skew you too much and then as far as like condos or townhomes the cheapest one on the market right now is 215,000, and the most expensive is around 900,000. some of the new build condos and townhomes in certain neighborhoods in this area are really great so if you're not opposed to that lifestyle uh and you want maybe like nicer finishes i would say that would be something worth considering but all right let's hit the road i'm gonna show you around a little bit more All right, y'all, right now I'm in a neighborhood that I think does a pretty good example of showing one of the kind of really unique to East Nashville things that's going on. I mean, it's not completely unique, but it seems the most uh, prevalent here of anywhere else within Nashville proper, which is basically that we're like very much in the middle of the path of progress. So you're gonna find much more modest homes, right? Like little one-story homes, kind of all over the place you can get kind of this old school this is an old church and there's a lot like a pretty big presence of that kind of architecture and then you're gonna get whole rows that have like random subdivisions of new build and they can be literally right next door to uh, like the older homes and that is all over the place in East Nashville. It happens constantly. And so I thought this was a good place to talk through pros and cons of East Nashville. So pros, pros is pretty easy. There's, it does have a lot of really great stuff going for it. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna say the vibe, the culture, it's eclectic, it's hip, it's diverse, and it seems like there's very much an arts culture at its core. That's something that as an artist, as a musician, I really appreciate. I like to be around that and uh, uh, yeah, I like what it does for the neighborhood. I think that's a huge reason why this neighborhood is uh, trending the way that it's trending. Next is that there are so many bars, restaurants, shops, uh, breweries, you know, retail. There's just a lot of kind of hip urban amenities that, you know, they, this is a destination. If you, if you don't live in East Nashville, you might come here for some of the food because there is a pretty huge variety of really great food. All right, another example. Okay, modest house, more modest house. And then right across the street, like, you know, brand new, much bigger homes. Uh, that, that actually, that, that one little row house, not that big, but brand new and very nice, which leads me to my next pro, which is a very diverse housing stock. East Nashville maybe has the most diverse housing stock from, you know, 250 to 1.5 million and literally can be on the same street. Um, I would say a lot of streets, most streets, it, it's kind of crazy, but you'll see, you know, the low prices being around 300, maybe even 250. 
and then the high prices being 700 in the 700s, pushing 800 on the same street all over the place. It's a, uh, that is very unique to East Nashville. And I think, you know, it makes sense. This place uh, was very different 10 years ago, but it's so convenient to downtown. It's so convenient to the airport, which is the next pro for me, convenience to, uh, you know, other areas, right? So convenient within the Metro, East Nashville is absolutely that. And then the last pro for me is gonna be that you know, there's a lot of opportunity for equity. There's a lot of opportunity for your principal at home to become a pretty good investment because there's seems like there's a lot of room upward for this community to go. And you know, you can buy a house for cheap and either renovate it, scrape it, put something else new in. Um, but that there are opportunities like that all over the place, which leads me to my first con, which is that this neighborhood is slightly disjointed. It's a little hodgepodge. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a very unique in that regard. And, you know, sort of next con within that disjointed idea is that there's a little more dinge in East Nashville than a lot of areas. And now, it is my opinion, and I think the opinion of a lot of folks, a lot of folks who are building new things like that, that that dinge, it will be gone with time, right? But that dinge is definitely here. And, you know, I think next con, it's kind of in line with that dinge and that disjointedness, but you might buy a new build, you know, right next to the house that is in desperate need of a new roof. You know what I mean? So that's not for everybody, but if you can sort of see like the potential and the future of the neighborhood, then you know, you might be able to like reap the benefits for it. Next con is that the schools here are just okay. They are not great. And you know, I think again, I'm gonna say that if I was a gambling man, I would say that the, which I'm not, I actually hate to gamble. Um, but I would say that I think that this area is going to uh, improve such that the schools improve with it. I think that's just a matter of time. Um, but yeah, if you have school age kids and schools are very, very important to you, then, you know, maybe it's not the spot for you right now. Um, but maybe you're, you know, maybe you don't have kids yet, maybe your kids aren't quite school age, then, you know, maybe this is a, a good bet, or even if it's only a short term, you know, spot, then there's a good chance that in a few years you sell it and you have a good amount of equity because of how much it's growing. But I do think the schools will catch up. It's just a matter of time. People don't spend all this money on houses without also paying a lot in taxes and also demanding good schools out of the neighborhood. You feel me? And then last con for me is that for how hip it is, it is not that walkable. Uh, the neighborhoods are pretty removed from a lot of the commercial areas. Not all of them, there's some. Uh, these people have a Coke machine in their backyard. I don't know why. I think that's hilarious. But yeah, it's like you, you live here because it's you know close proximity to cool restaurants and shops and kind of like the hipness, but certainly where I am right now, you're pretty much for sure at least riding your bike, <laughs> you know, you're, the walk to, you know, a restaurant or whatever isn't gonna be that easy. Now there are some spots where, you know, an apartment or a condo or a townhome and even some single family homes, I would say are walkable to the hip areas, but, yeah, not, you know, overwhelmingly. Okay, one last look. Old house, new house, new house, uh, old church. And then like at the end of this street, it's like all new builds. It's almost like a development within this old neighborhood. Yeah, it's fascinating. Let's go for a spin, shall we? Right here, 
is Opry Mills. It is a huge mall, an absolutely massive, uh, just commercial mall with all, all the shops. You can look it up. It has a ton of stuff. And then there's kind of this little gazebo area. And then we got this uh, bridge. And then right back there is the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, that Grand Ole Opry is in East Nashville and uh, legendary. I mean, yeah, super cool. Not only legendary, but just like a good place, right? A cool place to go. And I find it, uh, it's kind of just very cool to me that it is in East Nashville. And I realized that as you watch this, East Nashville, some of y'all are gonna be like, hey, that looks great. That looks really like something that I wanna live in. Uh, or maybe I believe in it as an investment. And then some of you are gonna be like, oh, that's definitely not it. That's fair. Either one are fair and uh, you know, at the end of the day, just get a hold of us and we will help you narrow it down. We will help you get to exactly where you want to be in Nashville. That is what we do. That's what we do better than anybody else. So if you're thinking about making a move here, get a hold of us, go to our website, welcome to Tennessee.co. There's a contact form there, fill that out, piece of cake, send it over, we'll get back, or just shoot us an email at info at welcometennessee.co. They lead to the same spot, which is here to me, to us. And hey, soon enough, you'll be living here in Nashville, maybe East Nashville, maybe a suburb. You'll be going to the Grand Ole Opry. You'll be going to Honky Tonks. I'm excited for you. This is a great place and I do think that you will love it. And as always, as you exit the video, please do so safely. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up. Say what's up in the comments. And uh, I set it out of order. Click the little bell when you subscribe to get notified every time we put up a new video. We're putting the best videos out anywhere on the internet about living here in Nashville. How cool. How cool is the Grand Ole Opry? What a legendary spot. But all right, I will see y'all in the next one. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.